It's lunchtime. Chelsea's having her nuggets left over from Burger King last night. Yep. Look it. Okay, so mommy's rule is no electronics at the table. But Chelsea is so inventive. She came in here and she propped up her iPad and she's watching our old vlogs. So, you know, how can I say no? It's not dinner time, so the whole family's not sitting down to eat. If it was dinner time and the whole family was sitting down to eat, I'd say no, no electronics. But it's lunchtime and it's just me and Chelsea sitting down to eat right now because Alex is still doing school and daddy's working. So I want to um, I want to tell you guys, I know a lot of you guys are out for, uh, I almost said spring break, summer break. A lot of you guys have finished school. That's awesome. Congratulations to those who have graduated and all that fun stuff. Um, Alex still has a couple weeks of school left. She's homeschooled. And because we've taken some vacations and done some different events and things like that, the way I scheduled her school, she still has a couple weeks left. Now, because we live in Florida and it's so hot outside, um, it's almost kind of like you don't really want to go outside unless you're going to be in the water. So it's not like we really have anything going on to where she's missing out on anything. Like if something comes up and she wants to do it, I can reschedule her days. It's pretty simple for me to just go in and reschedule a school day. So like I accidentally scheduled her for school on Monday, which was Memorial Day, and I was like, oh, I guess I gotta change that. So I was able to go in and change it real easily. But um, she's not missing out on any summer activities or anything like that. She still gets to do stuff. It's just that with the way we took other days off, it ended up adding on days to the end of the school year. We took the, uh-oh. There goes your setup, man. I need to fill your sippy so it doesn't tip over. Um, if you guys remember, we took like a month off at Christmas time to go up to Michigan. So she had like a whole month of school off at Christmas time to enjoy herself and relax and all that. We would rather take days off when it's nice out or when we go on a vacation or, or something like that than in the middle of summer when it's just hot and you can't really do anything. Does that make sense? I think it does. So that's the way we've always done it. Oh, girlfriend. You got it figured out. Oh, I need to fill that sippy, make it heavier. <laughs> oh no! Oh, you dropped, you dropped your bone. Here, sister, get it for you. Or sister, I guess you're not sister. She's niece. Are you niece? Mm -hmm. Look at him chewing on his little bone in my lap. Oh, <laughs> Mocha. You're so cute. Good job, babe. Mocha, Mocha, Mocha. Ooh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Every time he runs right into the camera. Oh, those little puppy teeth. Oh, they hurt. They hurt. Go get your toy. Go get your toy. <laughs> I see him. <laughs> Where'd he go? Mocha, mocha, mocha. Mocha, mocha, mocha. mocha. Come, Alex, come this way. <laughs> We're gonna go down and see Papa. What did Papa get? What's Papa got? Um, a monkey. A monkey. And a cage. And a cage, yep. My dad got a monkey, so we're gonna go check it out. I think it's called a finger monkey. I think, it's really, supposed to be really tiny. I've only seen pictures of it, I haven't seen the actual monkey yet. So myself and the girls are gonna go check it out and see what this thing's all about. I see a monkey. Now, don't make too much noise. I don't want to scare him. There's Holmes. Hi, Holmes. Hi. We heard you got a monkey. We had to come check it out. Oh my gosh. You are hysterical. It's a little monkey. Hi. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so funny, Dad. So this is, are you keeping his name? Or are you going to change it? Uh, I'll probably keep it. This it's is Gizmo. This is Gizmo. And he's what, a finger monkey, right? Yeah, or a marmoset. Marmoset. Yeah. Wow, you've got a lot of energy. He's full grown. Hi! Oh my gosh, that hair on the ears. <laughs> that is hysterical. 
Yes, hello, Iggy. I see you. Iggy is jealous. He's wanting my affection, too. Hi, Iggy. I know. You're still my favorite. You you're too. still my favorite. Yes. You're so beautiful. <laughs> oh, hi, Gizmo. I think he could jump this far if he wanted to. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, back in the cage. Oh, he's back and forth. Oh, back on Papa. Oh, back in the cage. Back in the cage. Back on Papa. He's got some energy. Crazy. Crazy little monkey. I pet him a bite. Just don't pet him on the head. No. Yeah, don't touch his head. <laughs> Oh, cute. Mm. Cute. Gizmo? Hi. Team resting? <laughs> <laughs> he likes to rest on Papa's arm. Can I pet you? Can I pet you? Oh, I don't want you to jump on me. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, stop. <gasps> oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> he did go after my ear. Oh, now he's got my hair on his head. Piece of my hair on his face. <laughs> did he, uh, he like he, he like tapped my I'm ear. I don't know. All I felt was like a little tap on my ear. Yeah, you'll know it if he. Uh, <laughs> you'll know if he bites. You'll feel it. You want to climb on me again? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Should he not go on my face? Is that no, bad? It's, it, no, it's it's not good because he could scratch your lip or bite you there. Behave yourself. Gives <laughs> this is the weirdest thing. <laughs> I have a monkey crawling on me. <laughs> Just kind of push him away from your face when he gets up there. Here, go back to your cage. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. Oh, oh, oh! You're gonna Close go up. after the camera. Okay. Close up. He likes my head. <laughs> he likes my head. He doesn't want to get off. Oh, he likes you. Get away from the face. Oh, don't scratch. He's okay. No, no. Don't scratch. <laughs> Not the ear. <laughs> my ring. Uh oh, yeah. He likes to steal. <laughs> he just climbed on Alex and I missed it because it was so fast. Okay, just relax. Just relax. <sighs> I was just saying to Alex, it looks like it might rain again today. And she's like, it is raining over there. You can see right there the rain is coming down. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy dog. Alex found a huge spider web. So we're trying not to walk through it, but I touched the rope that we have holding up our broken fence. <gasps> Edward! Oh my gosh. I don't know where it's connected. I don't want to run into it. Be careful. Ugh. You're like right in front of it. I know. There's the spider. Can you see it? Look. There, I'll put it over Alex's dark shorts. <gasps> That's the spider. It's like white. Ooh! I'll do a close up. Alex is like posing for us. Well, I wanted to zoom up, but the camera won't focus. It's focusing on Alex and not the spider. Go, go! This is what we call the mosquito dance. A mosquito was buzzing Chelsea, and I said, Run! <laughs> and now, oh my gosh! I said, keep going, keep going. Well, you're asking a lot of questions in here, huh? Um, Is that ice cream? Is that milkshakes? What you making? Ooh, I want some. You want some banana shakes? Yeah. Daddy, yeah, yeah. Daddy's yeah. making Daddy's some. Pungent banana shakes because Why? those bananas are like the end of their time. <laughs> oh, they're not so that really bad. Really strong and really tasty. Yeah. yeah. Really banana y. Okay, in order to get your banana shake, you gotta shake it. Shake it, girl. Let's see some banana shaking. Shake a shake a. 
shake it a little more. It's time for the question of the day, and today is Would You Rather Wednesday? And today's Would You Rather Wednesday is Would you rather work at an office where business attire is underoos or Renaissance Fair garb? I'm going to go with the Renaissance Fair garb. Explain what all those okay, underoos, for yeah. those who don't know, underoos is like underwear, long underwear. No. You know, so. Do you not know what underoos was? Oh, they were yeah. underwear that was themed stuff. Themed so you underwear. Get Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. I was thinking long underwear, not underoos. No. Okay, but I'm still gonna go with Renaissance garb. I want people to be a little bit more covered up and than just under. Was like, like yeah, school England Maybe. Shakespearean like, time. Yeah, that I think everybody probably knows what Renaissance garb is. What's your answer? I'm, I'm cool. Underoos. Oh my god. I loved my underoos. I had like so many. But like when people's stuff be all hanging out, <laughs> it's like underwear. <laughs> it's underwear though, no different than like bathing suit I or anything. I don't think I want to see anybody in their underwear. I don't know. <laughs> I think Renaissance at least you're covered up some. Okay, Mikey wants to go for the underwear. I'm going to say Renaissance, even though it might be a little itchy, but I was thinking underoos, you would be cold because you're not wearing anything else. Yeah, that's and true. offices are usually cold. If, well, they'd probably, have to, make it, they'd well, probably yeah. have to make it warm so everybody could do their work in their underoos. <laughs> Renaissance would be cool, though. <laughs> yeah. So we want to know from you guys, would you rather work at an office where business attire is underoos or Renaissance fair garb? Leave it in the comments below.